This is uh, one of our warm pots. The vegetation is much shorter here than in our controls. Soil restoration. Yeah, they uh, produce the byproduct of that as top, but then we also, you know, prior to the hurricane, did experiments where we warmed the individual leaves and branches of the trees that we could access from the tower. Although you can see after the hurricane, we uh, lost a lot of the branches that were close to the to the tower, and so we have we're not doing any more plant physiological measurements. Global forests are incredibly important for uh, understanding global climate because they exchange more carbon dioxide with the atmosphere than any other terrestrial biome. Uh, and so anything that happens in these ecosystems that could affect that balance of, of how much carbon dioxide they're taking in could have an effect on uh, the climate at a global scale. Climate change is the biggest issue of our time. It affects everybody right now, and it's going to affect all of our futures. Um, it's important to study. It's important to study what's happening to our planet right now, um, what there is left to save on this planet, because so much is disappearing at such a rapid speed. So she's. It's a mini <laughs> It keeps it, yeah, there's not as much wind that comes in. Well, let's measure it when we get back to the Okay, I'll just put a star. Do you have any water in the bucket? We are measuring, as I said, as many things as we can in, in terms of, of, you know, carbon cycling in the forest. And so initially, you know, in response to the warming, we're seeing increases in the amount of carbon dioxide released from the soil um, through the microbial processes, uh, and then we've also seen some decline in uh, plant photosynthesis. Um, but those are initial findings, and so what that means in the longer term, whether these plants will acclimate, is, is one of the questions that we're interested in. Uh, I am the scientific technician on the project, uh, or plant physiologist. Um, and I think also here, you know, in, in studying the Luquillo experimental forest, or El Junque, it's also important, I think, for, for people in Puerto Rico to understand what's going to happen to this, this forest. It's a, I would say it's a natural treasure. Mm -hmm. It's the only tropical forest in the, the U.S. Uh, national forest system as well. So there are a lot of people that are interested in knowing how these forests will respond to, to changes in, in climate, including temperature. So we have this opportunity to look at the effects of a hurricane and how that and temperature will interact with that disturbance and what that means for this forest as it regenerates and recovers from from this such a huge change. Uh, the hurricane completely, you know, opened up the forest canopy. And we lost all the green leaves, the the major branches, and so it's just a completely different forest. And so as that forest comes back. Um, does it recover differently if it's if it's warmer? That power up. You know, I don't even. I mean, it's it's. This is like. In